Maria here from HockeyTrainingPro.com and RevolutionConditioning.com and I'm with my friend Lisa Cianfrini and you've met her before we've done oh this is probably our third little sit down so. chit chat that we've done but um, Lisa's a registered dietitian so um, she didn't just take a weekend course and call herself a nutrition expert she's she's gone to university to study this she's done a master's she this is her passion so as I'm passionate about training athletes her passion is is nutrition um, she also so grew up in a house full of brothers. How many brothers? Three. Yeah, three brothers who are hockey players and, and all the rest. So, um, so she knows she knows where it's at. She knows what she's talking about. And I like that she has a very common sense approach. There isn't a, a magic bullet or uh, anything like that. She always gives us the true the true scoop on everything. So, uh, thanks for stopping by, Lisa. My pleasure. Um, wanted to ask you a little bit because now that the sun's actually out we're shooting this in in april <laughs> yeah it's been a very long winter and so the snow is finally gone i don't see any snow across the road in victoria park here and and the soccer players are starting to get back out on the pitch and so we were talking a little bit about how like you still see people show up at soccer practice with a bag full of oranges and i don't know if it's that you know that like their mom is probably my age and remembers having oranges when they were a kid playing soccer or like why do they still do that and and is there something better or maybe oranges are just the like the secret magic thing for soccer players yeah i'm not, I'm not sure what it is but just <laughs> like you that's that's what we have yeah. um you know there's definitely some benefits to to getting oranges in when we're playing any sport um, we definitely need to get in hydration. There's a bit of water in oranges. If we're playing for quite an extended period of time, so you know over 45 minutes an hour, which some soccer games can go that long, we definitely start to, to need some more sugars, some more glucose, and, and uh, oranges do provide that. So I don't have anything to matter with oranges. Um, the concentration of sugars within them isn't quite ideal. So if you're not having them with water, it can actually pull water from your body into your stomach, can be hard to absorb. They're also pretty acidic, mm -hmm. which for some people that can cause some tummy troubles. If you've been doing it your whole life and having oranges and water works for you, I don't see an issue with it. I would say be careful how much you're having and if you're sweating a lot, try to get in some sports drink as well so you're getting your, your electrolytes to replace because the oranges won't have that. Okay, Okay. so oranges won't have the, the salts and the electrolytes but they might actually be pretty good at getting a little bit of water and a bit of glucose. Absolutely, a little bit of extra vitamin C. Yeah. I'm okay with them. Okay, so you're gonna still have your oranges. It's good to know some things stay the same. Uh, but maybe add a little bit of water or a little bit of sport drink if it's really hot and you're sweating like crazy.